It's your girl, Lady Mocha. You know I'm always going to pour you a cup of truth. And I'm always going to break you off a slice of knowledge. You done? Okay. Now you see I asked for your daddy, right? I called him for you, right? And you hear what he was saying, right? So I just want you to, I just want you to know that mommy's trying, okay? But I can't make somebody do something that they don't want to, and that's what I want you to understand growing up. All right? Yeah. But I did call him, right? Yeah. You heard him talking to me? And I told him to come get you, and he said no, right? Yeah. Now you see why mommy don't want to call him when you ask her? I don't have a daddy. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't say that, babe. You got a daddy. He your daddy. Good morning, y'all. It is your girl, your diva, and knowledge. Lady Mocha, I want to thank all of you for stopping by to rock out with me this morning and dining with your girl to stop by some for some breakfast with me here at Cafe de Paris. What's good, everyone? I felt it was very imperative that I did a topic of the recipe this morning based on the situation here. Believe it or not, I was stumbling across Facebook. And every once in a while, you know, even though fake book is full of drama and foolishness and chaos, Every once in a while, some I will stumble upon something uh, where somebody will post something that makes perfect sense, okay? And there was someone who posted um, this tag on their uh, timeline, and it stated, A toxic mother can cause just as much damage as an absent father. And I'm like, you know what? Wow, that is so, so powerful. That is very powerful statement. And this clip that was shown prior to me doing my comment proves just that fact. That a toxic mother can cause just as much damage as an absent father. Now, we hear this phrase absentee father all the time, okay? And basically, I'm, I'm sure the majority of you know what it means, but... Uh, basically what it states is that the father has no role or no significance in uh, their child's life. That is what an absentee father is, okay? He doesn't interact with the child. He's not involved with the child. You know, and, and you know, you have some fathers who pay child support, but they don't have a connection with the child. They don't have a relationship with the child. Okay, we're constantly hearing about absentee fathers all the time. And there are so many men out there that are catching a lot of heat because of it. However, as much as we stress and talk about absentee fathers and men not being involved in their child's life, what about these mothers who are involved in these children's lives, but they are so toxic? In other words, these women that are birthing these children are definitely more toxic than anything for the simple fact that they have so much power so much influence to mold that child's thought process and mindset into really believing that their father could be is their enemy and as much as we don't want to discuss this, we want to always talk about these men who aren't involved in their children's lives, these men who don't pay child support. We want to ride men all day long and talk about what the hell they don't do as a father. But very rarely, very rarely do we talk about these mothers who think because they have children within their possession that they're automatically good mothers. Just because you have, the court has granted you um, you know, primary uh, 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 custody of the child. That does not make you a good mother, okay? Basically, that just stated that the court, for whatever reason, based on that particular statute or that state statute or law, that they consider you being a primary parent. And it doesn't mean because you're a good parent. They just 
based on that law within that state, they consider you to be the primary parent basically predominantly because the child lives with you the majority of the time okay so it's a lot of women out there who think well the judge gave me primary custody I'm a primary parent you're only the primary parent because the child lives with you the majority of the time but that doesn't make you a good parent okay all right so um with that being stated this woman basically told this child who is not nowhere near mature enough to phantom the idea of her father not wanting her she's just a child okay so what mothers have to understand and for some of you fathers out there who do take advantage and, and, uh, and do try to manipulate your child's way of thinking against the mom or whatever what people are not understanding when it comes to a child whatever thoughts that you put into their minds is very detrimental for the simple fact that it's kind of like this me being a grown ass woman somebody could come up to me and say you know uh so and so I let somebody see one of your videos and they told me they don't like your videos they feel like you know the stuff you you speak about is irrelevant they don't care for the topics that you choose to discuss they feel like your videos are lame okay somebody comes up to me and tell me that initially of course I don't feel some type of way because I'm very passionate about what I do and I put a lot of my energy and I put a lot of my drive into the material that I cover. So, of course, that's going to be some part of me where I'm going to feel some type of way if somebody tells me that, you know. However, the womanly part or the mature, the maturity part will make me uh, will make me reason with it to where I, it won't get me upset and it won't get me angry and I'm not taking it deep and I'm not taking it personal. The maturity part, because based on my age, based on my experience, based on being raised and taught that everybody's not going to like what you do, everybody's not going to appreciate what you do, that gears a shift mentally to where I don't allow the negativity to consume me because it's going to be that maturity part that's going to shift and say, you know what? You have to keep in mind, you're not perfect. Everybody's not going to like what you do. Everybody's not going to appreciate what you do. Do this because this is something you love. Not because you're looking for attention or because you're looking for validation. And I keep it moving. But when you tell a child something like that, keep in mind, whatever you give them any type of negative um, information, you know, they don't know how to reason with it. So when you tell a child, you know, as, as a mother, as a father, if you tell a child you're stupid, you dumb, you know, uh, 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 you're a loser, you're a failure, they're going to take it literally just that way and that way only because they don't have enough of the um, um, maturity tools to learn how to, you know, even when you're being criticized, even when you're you, you're you're giving negative um, feedback, that it, you still have that balance to to make you reason with the fact that okay, even though um, you know I'm being told I'm a loser, I'm a, I'm a failure. I know I'm not a loser, I'm not a failure because I have done things, I have accomplished things in other areas. These kids don't have the emotional development. To know how to reason or to look at things in another way. That's basically what I'm saying. Children cannot decipher and reason and look at things from a different perspective. Because they don't have the experience. They don't have the womanly or the manly tools to know how to do that. So whenever you tell a child anything negative, they're going to take it one way and one way only. They don't know how to take it any other way. So when this mother told this child that baby you see i tried to call your father your your father doesn't want you i'm just letting you know this isn't my fault and, my, and i'm like why would you do that why would you tell this girl even if that was the case let's say if that was the case let's say if the father said i don't want my i don't want my daughter i don't want to be in her life even if why would you put that level of of, of toxicness into your child who hasn't even been through enough in life to understand 
you know that regardless of how her father feels about her she doesn't need to already know at the age of five six however old she is three or four years old i look like she's about four three four four maybe four or five i don't know um why would you put that into her mind at such a young age this baby is already feeling rejected already and she's upset because her mother has programmed it in her mind that daddy doesn't want you this did you hear what she said she said i don't have a daddy god damn it why for the life of me would you do something like that and the sad part is this is just one particular low common denominator that went viral what about the rest of these women out here who is doing the same bull crap who haven't went viral who's up here telling their daughters telling their sons your daddy don't want you your daddy ain't never loved you your daddy ain't never cared about you this is why i had to do this recipe and i had to do this video because what a lot of you women are not admitting to your daughters what a lot of you women are not admitting to your sons is that you are the reason that man has no involvement in that child's life and this is the part that makes me mad because a lot of these women not all if it does not apply do not reply if you're not the type of woman who does this then i'm not talking about you okay i'm talking about these women you know who you are who intentionally have programmed into your child that your their father wants nothing to do with them and the sad part is you have not sat up here and been honest and told them why you're not telling them the whole story you're only telling them the parts that convenience you because a lot of a lot of y'all mothers out there y'all have created your own demise basically but y'all are not telling your children that and that's the whole part about it that sucks when is there's a lot of toxic ass women out here who are mothers that are quick to tell these children your daddy don't want you he ain't this he ain't that he ain't s-h-i-t but you're not telling them why you, you, that's the part you're leaving out. The majority, some of these men, and I may lose brownie points, and I may lose some viewers, but I'm just keeping it 100. This is my moment of truth. Some of these men, I almost damn near can't blame them from not wanting anything to do with you. Notice I say you, not child. Now I'm, let me, I'm going to break this down into some, in, in, into some, um, you know, more simple components. For everybody to understand before they write me off, okay? Basically, a lot of these men cannot deal with being disrespected and going through so much chaos to be a part of their child's life. It's no different than being a grown woman and you don't want to be disrespected. First of all, as adults, everybody wants respect. Very rarely do everybody wants to get respect, but everybody wants respect. Rather you're on a job, you don't want to be disrespected by your boss, even though you need to be there. You working to get your paycheck. You working so you can take, you have the means to provide for yourself financially. But you don't work to be disrespected. You don't work to have a boss talk to you all kind of way abuse the authority abuse the power just because that boss has the title of director or supervisor the moment they come at you any type of way you're going to flip you're going to either do one or two things you're going to stay and take the bullsh bullshit basically because you need the money you got to take care of your family okay Depending on how bad that level of disrespect gets, you may completely walk slap the hell off. Depending on if that boss has really, really tried your patience to a level, you just can't even try to bear it any longer. Okay? Same thing with a relationship. If you're a man or you're a woman and you're in a toxic relationship, you're constantly fighting, you're constantly beefing with each other over pettiness, there's always drama. Eventually, at some point in some time, somebody's going to just walk away. 
eventually it's going to get so bad it's going to get to a point to where somebody's going to say damn this i don't want this relationship i'm done those two examples that i just stated just now about leaving your job leaving a relationship means it comes a point where no matter how much you need something or no matter how much you love something i'll give you another example you may have a family member, whether if it's your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, that you love dearly because they're your blood. But the moment they cross you, the moment they betray you or disrespect you, you don't want nothing to do with them. Okay? And even though you love them and that's your blood and y'all supposed to be family, it's a lot of people this day and age that don't have no relationship with their father they mom, they sister, they brother, because somebody got the idea of because I'm family, because I'm related to you, I can do you in and mistreat you, and no matter what, you're supposed to have my back. Well, somebody woke up and smelled the coffee and said, oh, hell no, I'm done. These two examples are basically stating whenever a person has gotten to the point where they are tired of being disrespected, they walk away. Period. No matter how much you need your job, no matter how much you... um love a person or want to be with a person once a person has taken to the level of disrespect where you just can't deal with it no more you have every right to walk away and my thing is as much as people say you cowarding out or you being a punk because you walk away from an unhealthy situation or you ain't being no man or you ain't being no woman to me i have more respect for a man or a woman who will walk slap the hell off than i will somebody who will stay and get to the point where they want to kill that person they want to hurt that person to hurt themselves to me that's the coward way when you stay in an unhealthy situation and you get to the point where you snap and you end up killing that person and you and you and you just snap you lose it to me that 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 really um, speaks volumes that you have a lot of lack of maturity you're lacking maturity for you to stay in an unhealthy toxic situation and you would rather kill somebody and cause families to get hurt or cause children to get hurt because you don't have the strength you don't have the balls to walk away I will respect a man or a woman who will walk away from something that is unhealthy to them now because I'm digressing the reason I state that is in this situation here, just a little bit I've seen, I've already got this, this, I'm already getting this indication that this broad is full of drama. She's a drama queen. Because my thing is, for you to sit up there and tell your child, who don't even like she's six to seven years old, barely, that lets me know where you lack maturity and wisdom as a woman because I would not even want to put that type of pressure on my child for her to even believe that her father doesn't want her I wouldn't even put that on her this shows this displays that this broad is a drama queen this was something she could have kept to herself okay if, if, if that father didn't mean well or wasn't there for her she would have put two and two together as she got older you don't put that into the thought process of a child who don't know how to reason with things. She don't know how to reason with, maybe my daddy ain't there because my mama drama queen. She don't know how to, she's not nowhere on that level. So, that the statement that her mom has made her into believing that her father doesn't want her is already teaching her rejection. And what this woman is not understanding is, you're already going to create a woman this little girl is going to become a woman because she's not going to say little girl forever she's going to automatically feel like men don't value her because she's been taught at a young age from her toxic mother that daddy don't want you so what you think that's going to make her how do you guys think and how do you ladies think this is going to affect this child it's definitely going to affect her it's going to affect her in so many ways to the point to where I pray, and I'm not speaking life on this child, Lord. I pray that you cover her, uh, un, you know, under her mother's stupidity. But my thing is, this is going to affect this child in so many ways because she's already been taught that a man doesn't want you. Who's to say this this little girl won't become a a, a, a young lady who ends up screwing every time Dick and Derek? Okay, 
because she feels like my daddy never wanted me. So in order for me to feel wanted, I have to screw any man that gives me attention or shows his teeth to me. Or she could end up being one of those man eaters. Hey, every man on this planet. And, and, and decide to be with a woman. I mean, not to say I got anything against anybody's sexual orientation. But it's the truth. There's a lot of women that are um, in relationships with other women because they were taught to hate men. Or she could not even resort to that lifestyle. Not that I, not that I have anything to do with it. It's none of my business. Whoever you choose as your sexual orientation, sexual preference, that is your business. That's nobody. That's not for anybody to judge. So let me just put that out there. Um, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm, I don't too much try to go into stuff like that or whatever. Everybody gets to choose who they want to be with. In other instances, if she chooses not to even be in a relationship with a man or a woman, she may choose altogether to just hate men. And this would be one of those ones who would take it out on every man, man by intentionally getting pregnant from each and every one just so she could have the power to take them to child support, try to ruin their lives or whatever, all because no man wanted me. So I'm going to make sure I take every man for what he got. This, it can, it can so many dynamics to this situation that this mother is created, that this ignorant woman is creating. And sadly enough, she's not understanding it. And the other bad part about it is when women teach their children that their fathers do not want them, that their fathers do not want anything to do with them, it could also backfire on you as a mother too in a couple of ways. And this is the reason I say this. Some of them feel like the child in some cases can feel like mommy what did you do to where to why my daddy didn't want me that has happened in plenty of instances it's been with me, with children I know who've gotten into an argument with their mother and things went left and said now I see why daddy left you now I see why daddy never had a, never wanted nothing to do with me it's just so many ways things could backfire when you program your child with this this, this this type of thought you know because basically the way I look at it as for you for her to have taken it to that level it's more to it than what she's saying it's definitely a lot of pieces that are connected to the puzzles that she is not being honest about you she we don't know because I don't know his name from Adam we don't know if you feel some type of way because this man has moved on is in another relationship he has his own family now I mean a lot of these women are training their children to feel the way they feel based on what they went through with the man not what the child went through with the father what they went through with the man and because the man has rejected them now they want the child to believe your father has rejected you too what a lot of these single mothers out here are trying to do is they're trying to make the father accept them and the child as a package deal they don't know how to separate that the child could be there for the man and not have to be there for you the child can love the man and not love you the man can want the child but not want you it's too many single controlling mothers out here toxic mothers who will make these children believe because daddy don't want me he don't want you too and that's dead wrong that 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 is very manipulative that is very um conniving on so many levels that that's the most one of the most mischievous things a woman can do is make your child resent the father basically because he resented you he resented you and the thing about it is a lot of these men do not want to be a part of their child's life because basically dealing with the mother is 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 the 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 unfortunately the uh, most complicated barrier to the problem. A lot of you women out here, and if not all, if it does not apply, you don't have to reply. If you are a mother and you don't do this and you don't carry yourself in this manner, this isn't for you. But a lot of you mothers out there have caused men to walk away from you and your child. Like I mentioned before, when somebody takes you through too much, guess what? 
You are a grown man. You are a grown woman. You have every right to walk away. Even if it means losing something important to you. I've known people who've walked away from good jobs that was paying them good money. All because they could not take the disrespect. And I know a lot of y'all say a mocha. But still, how dare you encourage these men out here to leave their children? How dare you tell, make a man believe that it's okay to walk away from his child because he doesn't have a relationship with the mother? That is not what I'm saying. What I am saying is, if that man, I'm not talking about the ones who never wanted nothing to do with the, uh, with, or never even, and you was a real woman about it, you gave them the benefit of a doubt, you didn't try to put out type of stipulations, you didn't try to overstep your, your boundaries and over abuse your authority because you're the primary parent, parent. You, you've given these men the advantage and you've given them the respect to allow them to be there without bringing all kind of drama, without being difficult and complicated. If you are one of those ones, then this message is not for you. If you know you tried to be a mom, then let your father, let the father of your child have a connection and he just, damn it, just walked away, never looked back, and you tried to really give him that privilege. This is not for you. I'm talking about you women out here who want the man to take you and the child as a package deal. And he does not want you. He only wants the child. Okay? The moment... You start making things complicated every time he calls you and wants to have something to do with the child. You want to bring up stuff from the past. You want to um, bring up things that got nothing to do with him coming to see the child. Well, oh, you told me you couldn't do this. You couldn't do that. But I see you brought you a new truck or I heard you that got married or you brought you and your wife for home. Even if that's the case, that has nothing to do with how he connects with that child or not. Because he's not doing what you want for him to do for you personally. That does not mean he loves that child less. That basically means he's not going to do what you say do. He's going to do what he feels is best. Because at the end of the day, we all are grown. You cannot tell a man how to be a father. A father, you may not dare. You cannot tell a woman how to be a mother. Everybody got the find their own way of being a good parent. You may could suggest, you may can imply a few things here and there, but for the most part, you cannot tell another grown man or a grown woman how to be a good a good parent. That's something they're going to have to go to come to terms with. A lot of these men do not want to be a part of their child's lives is because it's just too much chaos they got to deal with. To deal to, to to be a part of that child's life, I've known some men personally who, through the court system, was given visitation, whether if it was every other weekend or during the holidays or during the summer, and how many of them dreaded every visitation going to get pick up the kids from the mother because they knew as soon as they got there, it was going to be some bull. Either she's going to bitch about something, she's going to complain, she's an opportunist. you got a lot of bitter baby mamas out there that are opportunists. The moment they get that child, that father in their presence, they have to say or do something to complicate things. They don't know how to just, okay, you could come and get Kiki, you could come and get little Mike, come pick them up. You know, I already got their bags, I got their clothes ready. And that's it. Okay, he goes there, picks up the kids, bye, see you later, what time you'll be back? Okay, you bring them back Sunday, 6.30, okay, see you then. Nope, a lot of these toxic ass mothers, they don't do that. Soon as that man, they be like a guard dog. A lot of these baby mothers, these bitter baby mothers, are like guard dogs, okay? They can't wait for the moment this man is getting ready to pull up in the driveway. They can't wait. To get something off their chest. To say something. Because they know they're not going to see him like that. They're not really going to be with him like that. They already know that. you know. So the moment this man comes into their presence. They make it their mission. They make it their mission to say or do something. And some of y'all so evil. Y'all have another man there. Knowing the man feels some type of way about all kind of, you know, different random dudes around his kids. You would intentionally let a different man be there 
because that's your moment to showcase. This is your moment. This is your moment to showcase. You wait like a guard dog. Wait for him. Okay, he should be here in 10 minutes. You intentionally set up the stage. You make sure there's a man there that he would disapprove of. You, if not that, you make sure, you know, you wear something revealing, you know, or, or something, you know, where you expose some of your skin to try to get a rise out of them, to try to turn them on. You got all these strategies and all these tricks up your sleeve, but because this is your moment to showcase. And as soon as this man pulls up to come get his kids, either you bitching. You showing out, or you got some random dude there, you know, you doing something to make this man uncomfortable. You want to get a rise out of him, because again, you're tossing. And everybody can only stand but so much. And a lot of you men, I don't blame you. I really don't blame you, because some of these women are just too damn complicated. Hell, I'm a woman, and I can't deal with other women. <laughs> I don't even have any female friends. I've had, I'm serious y'all, ladies and gentlemen, and some of my ladies, God, y'all can co-sign with me on this. I don't even have female friends because I had to get rid of some of them bras because some of them are just too much. They got the same problem week after week, month after month. You get tired of talking and gossiping about the same thing over and over and over. You know, you get tired of hearing the same drama. You get tired of, girl, I put Pookie out because Pookie up here... Uh, eating off my trans stamps or burning all the gas out my car and then a week later you talking to her pookie in the background um, girl I, I don't know why he and did that, oh, girl, I'm gonna tell y'all that burns my spirit when a woman act like she can't get rid of somebody that's bad girl I don't even know why he here I just wish he would go I don't even know why he showed up here you let him in what you mean <laughs> Ladies, y'all got any girlfriends like that? I'm serious. Who was up there and act like they helpless? They don't know why a man just won't get the hell on. Because you won't make him. Girl, I don't know why he won't leave. I don't know why he won't go. Hell, I won't leave either. If I can stay with you and not pay no rent, <laughs> I'm not leaving either. These women will sit up here. So, fellas, I get it. I get it because I would be phony. If I, if I get on this womanism thing with uh, women, it ain't right for men to do this. I, I can't front. I'm a woman and I can't deal with other women. That's why I really don't have any friends. I, I, I don't. I, I, I can't. I think I have like maybe two that I talk to. But again, women, you, you real women know that dealing with some women is complicated. So I can only imagine what some of you men have to go through when y'all have children from them. You know, I can only imagine, you know, I've seen, I've witnessed what my husband went through with his ex-wife, you know, just some women are just complicated and difficult and, you know, um, untossic for no reason. You know, they, they, it's like they get a rise. It's like drama is a pill. They got to take it twice a day to feel good. I mean, some, some people, drama is their medication. Some women and some of you brothers out there too. A lot of y'all brothers don't do it, but some of you baby daddy, some of y'all baby daddies, y'all 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 drama and y'all own way too. You know, you don't never want to have nothing to do with the child, but then you want to get mad with somebody else, you know, being like a father to the child. I mean, consider it a blessing. I mean, if you don't want to be bothered with ass and another man want to be there, consider it a blessing. I mean, give the man a pound like <laughs> Oh, man, you know, good looking out, man, because I couldn't deal with ass. I'm glad you could. <laughs> oh, no, I'm saying, you know what I mean? It get, you can't have it both ways. You cannot have it both ways. You cannot be there, but then you want to get mad. So, Because you got some men, you got some simps out there. Well, I don't always say that, but you got some men out there that don't mind taking on another man's baggage. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I mean, women do it when women are been in walk you know that have have had been in relationships with men who have had previous children and i mean whatever floats your boat you know what i'm saying but basically you know um some of these men 
I, I cannot blame them because some women, some of y'all are just too much. You don't know how to talk to nobody. You know, you got to make it about everything but the child. You know, you abuse the authority that the court system has given you. Not realizing that it doesn't make you a good woman. It just basically uh, it doesn't make you a good mother. It just basically means the law has granted you um, a little bit more rights compared to the father. And a lot of you women have taken that and y'all have ran with it and it's gotten to the point now the men are just saying you know what F it I'm done I'm out and it's unfortunate that the children have to suffer in the process of it you know and 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 like I said it's no different than leaving a job you leave a job and you lose your money your bills suffer in the process of it your family suffers in the process of it but at the same time you know as you, if you're an adult and you're a man or you woman, you got pride, you got dignity. It going it comes a point to where you cannot put a price on peace. You cannot put a price on that. You know, and sometimes you have to walk away from things that are disturbing your peace. I'm gonna repeat that again. For my ladies and my guys. Anything that disturbs your peace, you have to walk away from it. Don't keep condoning abuse because there's kids involved, because there's money involved, because there's, you know, if it's if it's tearing you up mentally and emotionally, it, you for one, you you're not going to be all of what you can be for somebody that's constantly draining you. You can't be a good father if the mother is constantly demeaning you constantly you know um you know blocking every blessing you try to give your child you're not going to be a good dad anyway either way it go you know these women so quick to say well he ain't this he ain't that because he walked away from his child well guess what he still wouldn't have been a good father because of the way you were handling things you was not allowing him to be all of what he could be because you want to take control of the situation so even if he would have been there present even if you would have been present being that you are drama you are um selfish you know you are complicated difficult to be to, you know to have a connection with he still wasn't going to be all of what he could be for that child he still could be and it's a lot of men who are involved in their children's lives right now as we speak and they still cannot be the best dad they could be because the mother is too busy holding grudges he wants to get that child more but because she's not in a good place so things are not going right for her she don't want him coming to get the child as much okay i mean it's so it's, mo it's so many dynamics in other words men are not just walking away because they just sorry it's a lot of men walking away and abandoning having a connection with their child because the mother is just too nasty she's too bitter she's too drama filled um she's not reasonable it's her way or no way at all and i'm sorry sweetie but it doesn't work like that in the real world it's not all about you everything you say doesn't always have to go your way and it's a lot of black women out here with this attitude what i say goes and that's how it's supposed to go i understand that welfare and, and wicked um child support really got y'all believing you know because they granted y'all all these privileges that you're supposed to have your way and whatever you want you are entitled to that don't mean somebody's entitled to dealing with your bullshit you know basically excuse my french okay but basically that's what a lot of these women out here not understanding so for this woman here in this clip to be making her daughter feel like your father doesn't want you no that is not how you handle it that's inappropriate that's childish even if the father doesn't don't do that to your child these children today are very vulnerable they killing themselves they killing other people children hell they in many cases they even killing their own parents you the last thing you need is to take your child because their their, their their minds are like sponges children mind the mind of a child is like a sponge they soak up everything and they take in everything it's so many toxic mothers out here we want to keep preaching about these absentee fathers about these men who are not active in their child's lives but what about you women who are active but you're toxic you feed your children all type of poison you feed your children all type of negativity you feed them all of this mess and you think you're less damaging than the absentee father that's bullcrap you're no better than he is just because of the the the, the type of 
uh, upbringing you're instill instilling into your child. You're no better. You bet. You better off just walking away and leaving that child there your damn self, because you're not. You what 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 single mothers got to understand? Whatever the father's not compensating, you got to compensate double. Same thing, you fathers. If the mother is not involved in your daughter's life or your son's life, that just means you got to work twice as hard. You got to compensate for that other half not being there just as just as hard. I mean that that that's that's just the rules because a lot of us. We, when we, especially when we become parents at a young age, we don't think about the future. We don't think about is this person going to always be here. We don't, we don't think that far ahead. You know, people, you know, take sex too loosely when you're young. You know, all you know is to jump in the sack, and you know, uh, we're, we're real loose with our bodies. We're real loose with who we're intimate with, and whatever you do in your childhood, unfortunately, it comes back and it affects you in your manhood and your womanhood. You've been a promiscuous, promiscuous young lady coming up. You're a grown woman now. You got five, six churn and five, six baby daddies and two, three and a half grandchildren behind it. It's because during your youth, you made adult, situ adult situations that you was not mentally prepared for, but you still got to deal with it. Same thing with you men. A lot of you men out here, grown men, got eight nine baby mamas because when you was a young man you were slinging penis you was giving out penis like you know um damn muslims giving out bean pies i mean now you got all these children you know most of your child support you uh, is going to us and care children the women women that's with you can't really expect to get much of anything out of you because you too busy half of your check is going towards child support you too busy paying for kids who you never even had a relationship with the mothers. I mean, it's a lot of things you do in your youth. It comes back to bite you, unfortunately, in your adulthood. I mean, it is what it is. Um, basically, you know, my moral of this story is never, ever make a child pay for your mistakes. Basically, she made that little girl pay for something she did. And then not only that, you know. Not so much of what she did, but the fact, the poor choices she made. And then, I don't think she's really being honest. It's a reason that man does not have a relationship with that child. Am I saying it's right? No. I'm not saying it's right for a man to walk away. Is it right, Mocha, for a man to walk out of his child's life? To answer your question, no, it is not right. However, if... That woman is making your life miserable to the point that you cannot function peacefully and have a healthy connection with that child, then it is worth walking away from. I'm sorry. That's how I feel about it. I'm a grown woman. I'm not going to deal with nothing that's going to compromise my peace. I love my child. I love my husband. But in the moment somebody is compromising my peace, I, I'm going to get, I got to get rid of it. I've gotten rid of people who have tried to make my life miserable. I'm not going to sit there and just lay down and let you keep kicking me and I don't get frustrated and get to the point where I can't deal. Because I'm uh, even cement, as hard as cement is, even cement will crack at some point. Okay? We have to learn if you want somebody to be there for your child. Even though they helped you create that child. You, I'm not saying you have to make it easy. But you damn sure don't need to make it complicated. It is not up to you to punish that person. For what they did to you. For all of what they're taking you through. You let karma do its job. You let God deal with them. That's not for you to deal with. Believe me. He can do it bit, bigger and better than you can. Sometimes you get more results doing nothing. And you'll be surprised that sometimes when you keep yourself humble in situations, God has a way of looking out for you. That's how you earn your blessings, when you you humble regardless of what. But some of y'all women, y'all take being humble as stupidity. Sometimes because these men don't say nothing or don't do nothing, y'all escalate, 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 escalate. And y'all have to put on this show. 
and try to embarrass or humiliate these men and then you want to turn around and flip the script when they don't want to have nothing to do with you do with you and it's not so much you I mean, it's not so much the child. It is you. Because it comes as a package deal. If they deal with the child, they got to deal with you. Y'all will sit up here and manipulate the situation. Well, what me and him going through got nothing to do with the child? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. If you being a beast and you being a witch, he cannot have a healthy connection with that child. With you running your trap. With your pie hole. He cannot have a peaceful mutual relationship with the child if the mother is drama it is not going to work and for all of you women out here who are doing this and you are manipulating your child like this broad did in this case that is going to be your karma that's going to be your karma because you got to remember that child lives with you that child is more your responsibility which in a perfect world is supposed to be both parents' responsibility. But if you are the parent and that child lives with you, you are going to reap what you sow, what you have sown into that child. That's what you're going to reap. And in this case, this woman better be very careful because she's already creating, a, 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 she's putting her child in a toxic situation. And if that father isn't there, that's even more so of the reason why you shouldn't be putting your child in a situation because you're going to be the one that got to live with her. You're the one that's raising with her. So whatever she's go through, whatever that child goes through, you're going to have to be the one to endure it. Basically, I just think it's stupid. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I know I have rambled on enough with this topic. I, I just was so upset. I was so angry. I hate when women do this. I hate when women take their child and just, you know, will, will, will manipulate that child and feel some type of way all because she is feeling some type of way. That's the difference between old school mothers and new school mothers. My mom never made me hate my dads. Never. Even though she went through a lot with them personally, she never spoke ill of them around us. She never said anything negative. She allowed us to have that room to build our own perception of what we thought of our fathers as we got older. She didn't help us to hate them or help or encourage us to, to not have a connection with them, but y'all new school bras today, y'all just lack straight discernment, y'all lack discernment, y'all lack knowledge, y'all lack wisdom, y'all just don't think about nothing, you come out your mouth all kind of way, you don't think about how it's going to affect your child, you don't think about how it's going to affect them as they get older, and the thing about it is, you may not always be here. You may not always be here. God forbid something happens to you. And that, chi that child's father may need to step in and get your child. A lot of y'all don't think that far ahead because you're too be being evil and conniving and wicked because you're bitter. You know, and if that's something you're struggling with, ladies, you're going to have to get some therapy. You're going to have to go to church, get some spiritual guidance. Ask God to help you cleanse your heart from so much hatred and bitterness if you really do some self-evaluation you if you really look deeper into yourself you will really discover the real you that a lot of your hate and anger comes from a lot of the poor decisions you made it has very little to do with your baby daddy or you did not get enough of child support a lot of y'all think money if only i had more money if only i had more child support i wouldn't be so stressed out no if only you do some real spiritual healing and some spiritual cleansing, you're going to stay miserable. You're going to stay bitter. And in this case, you're going to pass that same bitterness and hatred down to your child. And that is exactly what this woman is doing. I want to thank all of you for viewing my channels. I want to thank all of you guys and you ladies for so much positive feedback. Um keep in mind you know i have an email you know if you need to email me about a link or you want me to speak on something a certain subject a certain issue you are welcome to reach out to me i will be more than glad to try to get to you as soon as i can but on that note everybody it's been wonderful i think all of y'all don't forget to like the video don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe you know just take this moment before you exit the video if you can please 
thumb up the video. You know, I'm trying to make sure I, I boost those ratings. Believe me, this knowledge that I'm giving you guys, this wisdom that I'm giving you ladies, you know what I mean? I'm not charging y'all anything for it. You know what I mean? So just take the moment to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell because I'm always uploading different recipes, different topics and, which, and whatever. And um, I know I still owe you guys another video. I'm getting to it. There's been a whole lot of crazy stuff going on. But on that note, this is your girl Lady Mocha. And I'm going to always pour you a cup of truth. And I will always break you off a slice of knowledge. Y'all have a wonderful day. I will rock at y'all later. Bye.